I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant, e-design expert, and blogger. Today we're taking a look at Benjamin Moore Iron Mountain. A lot of you have asked for a review of this on my Instagram or my YouTube comments, and I'm not surprised because it's a very tricky color to figure out. So the key to figuring out any color is to know it's LRV and it's undertones and to do some comparisons. That's what we're gonna do. So Iron Mountain has an LRV of 11. So LRV lets you know how light or dark a paint color is on a scale of zero, which is black, to 100, which is white. This guy sits at 11. So when a color's at 11, it means it's not so dark that it will act like black. Iron Mountain will never act like black. It doesn't matter what you do with it. And it's too soft and light for that, even though it looks pretty dark right here. Now, when you're looking at dark colors, the best way to pick the best dark color is to compare. And you need your brand's blackest black, because that'll give you a frame of reference. It'll help you see undertones and the real depth of it. So when we look at Iron Mountain like this, it looks pretty killer dark, but get a little black in there. Now you see its softness. You can see how it really doesn't have the potential to act like black. Doesn't matter if it's north facing, dark room, it's gonna hold some softness in there. Now, for the sake of comparison, that's where we're gonna start finding those undertones. As we know, all colors have undertones. Grays specifically have blue, green, or purple. Now, the funny thing about Iron Mountain, which is why it's such a tricky little bugger, is that it does favor kind of a purple-blue undertone. It doesn't favor green, but in some lights, like especially southern light or like afternoon warm western sun, it picks up a bit of warmth, like almost a bit of brownie warmth without going brown, which is very atypical for a color that would have purple blue undertones because those are cool undertones. So that's what makes this color so friggin' interesting and challenging. So to compare it to Peppercorn, this is Sherwin-Williams. So Peppercorn has considerably more undertone. Shows you how subtle the undertone is in Iron Mountain, how it really is a good neutral because peppercorn can act as a neutral. It's just a neutral with very strong undertones, but you can see how much more velvety, soft, muted undertones. If we go stronger into Hail Navy, again, you see that little bit of warmth in Iron Mountain, just a fraction of it. It's so interesting. Candle Charcoal. Oh, I've got a couple here. Candle Charcoal and Chelsea Gray. These two, these are grays with a green undertone. So it'll show you how Iron Mountain just doesn't really harbor that color very well. So there's a lower contrast approach. Kendall Charcoal has an LRV of maybe it's either 15 or 17, I think. It has the green undertone. Chelsea Gray has the green undertone. Well, it doesn't make these undertones blatantly obvious because they're not obvious, they're very, very subtle. It does show us how the green doesn't really belong in there. Now I did talk about that bit of warmth you can find in Iron Mountain. You might be going, oh, I didn't really want a warm color and I don't want brown. I will show you brown. So it shows you how not brown Iron Mountain is and how strange it is that sometimes it picks up that bit of warmth. I just wanted to show you that it's not that you're going to have a brown color, it just has a subtle warmth to it. It's just so atypical for a blue purple, but it's hiding in there. Is that all I have? That's all I have for comparisons. That's it. So that's Benjamin Moore Iron Mountain. If you're thinking of using it for a feature wall, you'll want to think about a matte finish. Dark colors can look a bit garish in sheen and it will expose any flaws or poorly applied paint. So matte finish looks awesome in Iron Mountain. If you're doing island, cabinets, front door, that kind of thing, satin finish is amazing. One thing you'll notice with satin finish is because that increase in sheen, when the light hits it, even a color like Iron Mountain can look a lot lighter than you'd expect, and those undertones can come up a little bit more, so just be aware of that. So there you are, that's Iron Mountain. I have hundreds upon hundreds of blog articles on DIY update ideas, color reviews. You can find me on my Instagram feed, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.